This is my review on Drives by Love the Phantom of the Opera movie on two sound four sound five here. I remember. So so the movie's about um, this guy called Phantom who is instantly falls in love with this girl called Christine after he hears her sing. And Christine's in love with this guy called Ralph. So the Phantom poses as her father and says that he's her angel of music, her teacher. And it's a plan to lure her for her to fall in love with him. And she fakes when uh, she brings him to his lair where he lives and that he already has a wedding dress fit for her and uh and the song's done and they tell the story all in music without actually singing and stuff when they were in the opera house they're actually singing in the musical not in, in the fictional story I'm talking about. See, that's kind of how a musical works sometimes. Sometimes they see the music, the music is basically the, one of the key elements to help you get invested in the show. It's part of the character. This part of the acting. Not saying that the uh, now the that doesn't always mean that the uh, music will the uh, singing in the actual fictional show. They could just be talking and singing for some reason, because that's just how they would talk. Now sometimes they would actually sing. And the Phantom does this, we get like a, there's like a very creepy song called Music of the Night. It is beautiful as it is scary. It's basically, it says, he will do everything in his power for his dreams to come true and give into your dark side the darkness of the music of the night. Turn away from the world you know before, which is the real world, and give into this dark world that is cold and corrupt and is beautiful. And listen to the music that I write, the dark music of the dark of night. And Anyway, so Ralph, she eventually leaves the Phantom and promises she won't go, she won't betray him and go with Ralph and she'll break out with him. But she doesn't, so she says she'll though they decide to run away together. And all he, Ralph, has to say, You crazy fool, you can't listen to the Phantom. I don't want to hear any of this nonsense anymore. Christine, I love you. Even though know you're completely delusional. Let me warm your warm your thoughts of happiness. In other words, see Ralph is kind of a dick. And but he's so like well he unfortunately doesn't get that much screen time like the play. 
So a lot of screen time shine to the Phantom, and that's the rest of what fought. And then when the Phantom come on stage while Christine singing, is a plot for is basically him to, to decide to stop playing with the next guy and let his double plot begin as he woos Christine as he sings with Christine to get her and fall in love with her singing my favorite song The Point of No Return in the play. My favorite song in the play and also in this movie is The Point of No Return. It's just a beautiful song. The song goes about his so two people falling in love. That would be the Phantom and Christine because Phantom wrote it for Christine. And she writes all the music that's played in the Opera House. But he wrote a new play with some new music. And pretty talented actually, uh and we see a little, a little hint that he, we see a hint that he's actually kind of a bit of an illusionist and a little bit of a magician. As Ralph tries chasing after him on one thing, after he breaks the body and kind of blows it by getting Christine on her uh, side because he just rips off the necklaces. You belong to me, Christine. So. Because he's kind of a psycho, but also kind of likable. And so anyway, when he comes on stage and he's expressing his feelings towards Christine and the song that he created, he says, the song goes like, these two lovers fall in love. And once they fall in love, there's no point of turning back. No, no point of right or wrong. The final question is, do you love me? And Phantom is all singing these lyrics beautifully with Christine. And Christine starts singing back with him. And Ralph is just, is watching and he is just, he's just, he's just breaking his heart. <laughs> You don't really feel that bad for me. In fact, you kind of, I found it kind of funny. <laughs> uh, so, and all else goes wrong when when uh, they're about to they come close to each other faces. And Christine gets proposed by the Phantom. And the song... Because he wrote that part of the song. So he wanted to pose, pose to her in song. And he says, anyway, you're going. Let me go to Christine. That's all I ask of you. And But the whole song is interrupted when she sees his very disturbing face. And it's instantly like that turns her off of him. And so Christian's not in dying and alone love was 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 so at the end she sides with Ralph because he's good looking, not that she has more in common with Ralph, but mostly because he's good looking, unlike the Phantom. While the Phantom has a half of a good looking face. And so we really think about it, Christine's kind of uh Made the wrong choice. I mean, yeah, so the Phantom made some not the great choice, but uh, he did it out of love. And you're not really totally by that uh, Ralph fully, you don't have to fully believe that uh, Ralph loves her the way the Phantom does. And when he's being hanged by, when he's being murdered by the Phantom with a uh, with, uh, rope. And he threatens to kill Ralph if she doesn't choose him over Ralph. And Ralph wondering what's the point of this. And he says to Christine, I'm sorry, I do not love you enough. 